In this lesson, we will look at some methods of input and output. We will allow the user to input some values into text boxes, which we will store in variables. Then we will do some calculations with these variables and output the result to a text box. In our example, we will write an event procedure to convert hours and minutes to minutes. The user will enter the number of hours in the hours text box the number of minutes in the minutes text box and when the button is clicked the two values will be read from the text boxes a calculation performed to convert the hours in minutes to minutes and the total number of minutes will be displayed in the other text box on our form we have three text boxes the first is txt hours the next is txt minutes and the text box that we use for output we've called txt output. The button is called btn convert and the event procedure that we we'll write will be called btn convert click. So if we double click on our button we'll move to the code window and we can write the event procedure. Before we declare our variables we need to think about what sort of information these variables will hold. So let's assume that the number of hours and minutes will both be whole numbers uh, or integers. So we will declare variables to hold these two values as integer variables. So if we declare a variable called hours to hold the number of hours and another variable called minutes to hold the number of minutes, we'll declare them like this. Dim hours as integer minutes as integer. Now let's declare another variable called total minutes to hold the final number of minutes. This will be an integer as well as the number of hours and minutes are integers. So we'll declare that as follows dim total minutes as integer. The next step in our procedure will be to read the values from the two text boxes. We'll insert a comment just to, show, to remind us what we're doing. So read the values from the text boxes and store in variables. So to read the value from txt hours and store it in the variable hours we write hours equals txt hours dot text. Remember that on the left hand side of the equals or the assignment operator we have our variable name and on the right hand side we have the value that we want to store in that variable or memory location. In this case it's the contents of the text box txt hours which is given to us by the text property of that text box. So the left the right hand side shows txt hours dot text meaning the contents of the text box. In the same way if we want to store the contents of txt minutes in the variable minutes we write minutes equals txt minutes dot text. Now we'll perform the calculation. So let's insert a comment to indicate what we're doing. And to convert from hours and minutes to minutes, we multiply the number of hours by 60 and we add the minutes. In our example, we want to store that value in our variable total minutes. So we write total minutes the name of the variable where we, that we want to store the value in equal to and on the right hand side now we show how to calculate the total minutes so we multiply the hours multiplied by 60 plus the value that's in the minutes variable so again on the left hand side we have the name of the variable where we want to store our value in this case total minutes and on the right hand side the value that we want to store is got by multiplying whatever's in our variable hours by 60 
and adding on whatever value is stored in our variable minutes. And finally then we'll output the result. To display the result in txt output, we set the text property of txt output to be equal to the string that we want to display in the text box. And we can construct that string using our variables, other strings, and joining them together with ampersands. So we have hours, ampersand, hours, and ampersand, minutes, ampersand, minutes is ampersand total minutes ampersand minutes let's try to picture what this string on the right hand side will look like when it's displayed and let's suppose that the user has entered 2 hours and 25 minutes so in this case then the, var the variable hours will have the number 2 in it and the variable minutes will have the value 25. When the calculation is done that will give total minutes a value of 145. So then our string will read hours which is the contents of hours which is 2 so 2 hours and then the contents of minutes which is 25 so now it reads 2 hours and 25 then the string minutes is followed by the value that's in total minutes which is 145 followed by the string minutes so the sentence reads 2 hours and 25 minutes is 145 minutes now let's run it and check and see how it looks so let's enter 2 in the hours text box 25 in the minutes text box and click on the button and let's take a look again at the output and the line of code that produced that output and we can see that the values in the variables are appearing in the positions where we mentioned the variable names in our line of code so the 2 appears where we had mentioned hours the 25 appears where we refer to the variable minutes and 145 appears where we refer to the variable total minutes.